What's good? It's your boy T-R-E-N-T, -E and I'm back one more again. This time I'm back with a brand new segment called First Time Hearing, where I'm digging in the crates, finding out new songs or old songs that I should know about by artists I should know about. Tonight we're dedicating it to Rolling Stones, and this is based on y'all suggestions. I appreciate y'all suggestions. Everybody said react to this Rolling Stone. This, and anywho, unlike the other YouTubers and reactors, I do not skip the songs. I do not pause the songs. I listen to the whole song, and at the end I get my commentary. I grade each song from 0 to 10, 10 being the best. So if it's a trash song, y'all already know, that's 5 and below. If it's mid, average, okay, that's a 6. Now, if it's a good song, depending on how good y'all think it is, that's a 7 to 10. So make sure y'all stay to the end, and make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on every social media. It look Trent Music. It's spelled the same way as my channel. We're going to catch a vibe on Twitch after this. And when we get the 10K subs, there will be a cash app giveaway after every reaction. So make sure you be part of that day one community. Without further ado, this is my first time hearing the Rolling Stones song. Your fucking panties on a bunch of making reaction bits. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction bits. This is the Rolling Stones. Jumping Jack Flash. Now I'm watching the music video, but I'm reacting to the music, so stay to the end. Jumping Jack Flash, the Rolling Stones, bro. It's another 
I'm surprised it's short because a lot of their songs, like I said, I reacted to before. It was long songs. And um, these, they early days, I believe. Um, it's nice to see, like I said in the last video, I think that's Mick Jagger. I don't know. Y'all can let me know if I'm wrong or right. I, I, I do appreciate y'all comments. But um, somebody said recently, like, cause he's still performing and whatnot. And he's still hitting the moves and stuff. The thing what makes what what I'm saying is Mick Jagger because y'all know the song I got the moves like Jagger I got the like Mick Jagger had his own moves his own style kind of like I feel that way too I got my own moves my own style in a in a in a way you know what I mean and um even his in the video in the performances he moving in a a type of way that's like not going with the music is it, that his own rhythm his own pace but it's still on point it's kind of like how people be talking about rappers like oh he off beat but somebody like silk the shocker who used to ride the used to have some dope flows but ride the beat real even though it's off beat that's what i want to say about his dancing style and not only that the people in the audience, you get to see, like, these is our grandmas, our great-grandpas, depending on how old you is. Like, they was getting, they was energetic, like, and it kind of like, this song don't cause for all that. But it also had me thinking, like, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, whenever y'all watch this video, we gonna be looking back at the stuff we doing, the dances we do nowadays, and we're going to be like, y'all don't need to do all that. Like, this song don't cause for all that. But, um, zero out of 10, I'm definitely going to give it a seven just because it was, it was a good song. I like the, uh, tonality of it. I like his tone. Y'all heard at the end, he was speaking. We were like, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if he's trying to put on his Elvis Presley and, um, Bob, or that's what everybody used to do, but. The fact that he sound different than what he's singing and you know what i'm saying and this is back in the 70s or whatever decade that was when they was wearing tight clothes it's like kind of resurgence of that now because people wearing tight clothes but it's kind of going back it's going back and forth but the bell bottoms have research look look at me i'm rocking the furry hats and the the it's a rock star lifestyle like the long hair not giving a care and um and I do want to know if it was the drugs. Like, I understand rock and roll was mixed with drugs. I want to know if it was the drugs that made a move like that or it was the music itself. Um, it's not a 9 or a 10 because it didn't make me move like that. So I, don't, I do not got the moves like Jagger, but I do respect where they came from. And I do want to know a little bit more about the Rolling Stones because for what I understand... I'm I'm saying Mick Jagger and I don't know if I'm wrong or right. But I heard there was another lead man. Like they go back to the like the Rolling Stones been out since the sixties and I believe they did have an original lead man on the mic that wasn't this guy. If y'all know that answer, let me know, man. This may be the first um cash app giveaway i may give y'all know the first original lead singer without i don't give a fuck whoever the first one lead a comment gonna be the winner uh who was the first lead man of the rolling stones before this guy but uh we're gonna react to some more rolling stones we're gonna catch a vibe on twitch after i may do some more first reactions but we tonight is by rolling stones so click that next video if y'all rocking out don't forget to leave your grade if not uh -huh.